Okay. So we've done hands on the apple. Ah, 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 that part we've done. Okay. So let's do. Balls are bouncing. B -b -b balls are bouncing. B -b -b balls are bouncing. B -b 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 B is the sound of B. Okay. So why is it that I'm doing it with this hand? Is uh, because the child is actually able to look at it. That there's a standing line and then there's a curve. Right. So the child would also look at the letter formation, the letter symbol, how it li looks like. Okay. Now, caterpillar coughing, k -k -k. caterpillar coughing, k -k -k. caterpillar coughing, k -k -k. K is the sound of C. Dolls are dancing, d -d 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 -d. dolls are dancing, d -d 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 -d. dolls are dancing, d -d 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 -d. D is the sound of D. In D also the child is able to look at it. He makes a curve first and then the stand, standing line. Okay. Elegant elephant. Eh, eh, eh. Elegant elephant. Eh, eh, eh. Elegant elephant. Eh, eh, eh. eh is the sound of E. Five flamingos. Five flamingos. Five flamingos is the sound of f now if you notice for f i'm making a continuous sound i'm making a continuous sound it is not f f f okay it's a f okay so you have to remember these sounds and it's not even f it's f okay goats are giggling g -g -g -g. goats are giggling g -g -g. goats are giggling g -g -g. G is the sound of G. Helicopter hovering. Helicopter hovering. Helicopter hovering. Is the sound of H. Iguana itching. E e e. Iguana itching. E e e. Iguana itching. E e e. E is the sound of I. Jelly beans jumping. J j j. Jelly beans jumping, j j j. Jelly beans jumping, j j j. J is the sound of j. No, king kick the kettle. You cannot see my uh, legs, but then uh, I'm trying to kick. Okay, king kick the kettle, k k k. King kick the kettle, k k k. King kick the kettle, k k k. K is the sound of k. Lion licking lollipops, uh. Lion licking lollipops, uh, lion licking lollipops, uh, uh, is the sound of L. Monkeys are munching, mm -hmm. monkeys are munching, mm -hmm. monkeys are munching, mm -hmm. mm, is the sound of M. Nuts in a nutshell, mm -hmm. nuts in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Nuts in a nutshell mm, mm, is the sound of N. Okay. Orange octopus. Oh, oh, oh. Orange octopus. Oh, oh, oh. Orange octopus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is the sound of O. Popcorn popping. P -p -p -p. Popcorn popping. P -p -p -p. Popcorn popping. P -p -p -p. P is the sound of Queen waiting quietly. Qua, qua, qua. Now you can um, actually show something that's oval in shape. Okay, you can draw something that's oval in shape, and you can also say that you can make a face of a queen, and you can say queen waiting quietly. It looks like Q. Okay, queen waiting quietly. Qua, qua, qua. Queen waiting quietly. Qua, qua, qua. Queen waiting quietly. Qua, qua, qua. Qua is the sound of Q. Rats are running, uh, rats are running, uh, rats are running, uh, uh, is the sound of R. Sausages sizzling, tss. sausages sizzling, tss. sausages sizzling, tss. Tss. is the sound of S. Tiger on tiptoes, tiger on tiptoes. 
Tiger on tiptoes is the sound of tea. Up, up, umbrella, ah, ah, ah. Up, up, umbrella, ah, ah, ah. Up, up, umbrella, ah, ah, ah. Up is the sound of you. Violent volcanoes, uh. Violent volcanoes, uh. Violent volcanoes, uh. Uh is the sound of we. Wibble wobble walrus, wah, wah, wah. Wibble wobble walrus, wah, wah, wah. Wibble wobble walrus, wah, wah, wah. What is the sound of W? Fox on a box. X, x, x. Fox on a box. X, x, x. Fox on a box. X, x, x. X is the sound of X. Yucks are yawning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yucks are yawning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yucks are yawning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yucks yeah. yeah. is the sound of Y. Zigzag zebras, zigzag zebras, zigzag zebras, z is the sound of z. Now these are the rhymes. Now, in these rhymes, if you've noticed, in these rhymes, if you've noticed, there are a few sounds that are continuous sounds, okay? Like the mm, mm, Okay, these are the continuous sounds which we're going to talk about a little later. Okay, now this is um, uh, after we have connected the pictures in the form of a story, and then uh, we have introduced a rhyme to introduce the sounds, right? We're good to go till then. Now that we have introduced lots and lots of pictures, you can always give children an activity, something like this, in order to test how much the children have followed. Okay, for example, this is a bell, okay? As a child, as a child, is it b bell or l bell or b b bell? The child is actually trying to listen. He's every time he's trying to say bell, b b bell, l bell or b b bell, b b bell. So he would just fill it up there. Right now, similarly, lion. Okay, now again, you ask the child, is it b -b lion, L lion, or b -b lion? It's L lion, right? Right, and then this is, this is pizza, yeah, pizza, right. Pizza, is it? P -p pizza, L pizza, or the pizza? P -p pizza, right? So on and so forth, you can keep on adding the pencil. And in order to confuse children, you can also give other pictures like a star. The child will be thinking whether it's the star, the star, or the star, okay? So I've given pumpkin, I've given sun, I've given moon, pig, so on and so forth. So when you give, when you keep giving many, many pictures to children, they are, they're, they're, you're working on their listening skills so that the child says out the words over and over again and they try to listen to the beginning sound. So they're isolating the beginning sound. So they're just separating the beginning sound and trying to find out which letter it, 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 uh, it makes this sound, right? Now, why is it that we have to work on this particular skill? You know, during exams and all, we give such uh, blanks to children, wherein you just give the picture of a mouse and you give the first um, blank there, the first letter as blank. Now, many teachers, they ask me this question, ma'am, is it necessary that the child has to learn the entire spelling? No, not required. The child just have to say mouse, 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 slowly. He just have to say mouse, okay? And then he knows that m sound is made by the letter M, 
okay and he'll just write it so so that the child would be good to go with such things that's the reason we introduce lots and lots of pictures after introducing the pictures part okay now you have to daily keep giving the child a recap of the vowels okay that is a, a. this is the confusion part because e makes us out a like the name a okay a. and i makes us out e like the name e a. A. okay daily you have to repeat the sounds the short vowel sounds of the vowels especially a e i o u okay once you tell the child that these five letters these five friends are called vowels then you talk about the consonants and in the consonants you talk about the continuous sounds okay yeah yeah you talk about the continuous sounds you say f makes a sound Mm. Mm. You might be thinking, ma'am, what are the other sounds that uh, the consonants make? Okay. These are the ones that make continuous sounds. That is, right? Now listen to this sound. Okay, it has an abrupt ending. It just stops. It's not. It's not that. It's just. Listen to the sound. G, g, d. C and K make the same sound, so I put them together. <laughs> B. P. J. So all these things, they do not have a continuous sound, right? They have a abrupt ending that is called the schwa ending sound, right? Uh, <clears throat> now I have made a, a, a resource uh, like this okay so that I just wanted to check how the child uh, can blend these sounds together okay so you people also can make one such a thing you can make it in the form of a flower or you know it's up to you your creativity right now I have taken the middle sound as ah, okay and I'm trying to blend. I'm, I'm trying to give practice of blending to the child. Now the child is able to blend. Okay? Because this is a continuous sound. It is easy to blend a vowel sound with a continuous sound consonant. Okay? It's very easy because there is continuity. So it's already almost joined, okay? It's just that you have to say it a little faster. Ma, but you just have to say ma, ma, okay? Again, uh, let's try with another another sound that's uh, a continuous sound. Na, 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 okay? Na, na, okay? So it's easier to blend. But when it comes to a schwa ending sound, g, g, a, g, a, g, a, g, a. the child will have difficulty there so you need not give much practice with um, the letters having the continuous sound rather you have to work more and more on the letters that have an abrupt ending or the schwa ending okay so g, a, because the more and more uh, times the child is saying that still the child is saying g, a, g, a. the child is not able to come to ga right whereas in this case it's ma, ma, ma. so 
na becomes very easy or na na becomes very easy for the child to blend okay so once the child is able to do this it's just a, uh, what do you say it's a trick kind of a thing the child understands that acha whatever i blend with a i should say ma p a pa na na d a da b a ba d a ga okay then you can just test if the child is ready for blending okay how you test is what i'm going to show you m a p m a p m a p m a p m a p m a p yes the child is good to go now this one if you want to press test g a p g a p only if the child is able to um you know blend these two sounds initially as g a as ga the child will be able to say g a p okay ga p or else he'll just say g a p g a p okay you, you you do not want the child to be saying that right so you need to give a lot and lot and lot of practice with this right so similarly the way i have made with a i have made with sorry e and then i in everything i have taken a um a continuous sound later l okay continuous sound later i have taken and with u also right we are blending okay so once the child is good to go with these that is exactly when you talk about the cvc words okay that is when you talk about the cvc words now what exactly are the cvc words consonant vowel consonant so this is a consonant a vowel and a consonant so you are talking about the consonant vowel consonant initially you just gave practice of um, to the child blending the um, the consonant and the vowel together now you are working with the consonant vowel consonant okay now why is it that i am making these flash cards is because here uh, you are taking separate separately you know you are you are just giving different different combinations like you know m mm, a ah, p okay so they are not in one sequence or if they you, the child is not looking at them as a word okay here so you made up words and why is it that i have placed dots here when you point your finger there the child is just he is supposed to say the sound it makes okay r a t okay r a t r a t r a t r a t r a t r a t r a t you can uh, do otherwise also you can just make a small highway kind of a thing or you can just pick a small black strip with all white white markings the way you see it on highways and you can give kutti kutti small small toys to children you know the way they get in uh, kinder joy and all they get very small toys and you can ask the child to start here rat 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 and the faster the child keeps moving his hand the uh, easily he'll be able to blend okay so here he understands that he's supposed to convert the letter to the sound then join all the sounds together to make this word <clears throat> similarly i have taken another continuous sound ran 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 the child will be able to read it mop m m is again a continuous sound so mop the child will be able to read it now here g e t g e t g e t g e g e g e g e this is the area that the child will actually have to work so i think the child will be able to do it because you have initially given the child a lot of practice with the wheels right the blending wheels now uh, you know once you know that the child is able to read these words get or tin t t is uh, also has an abrupt ending t t in t in okay then the child is good to go to the next step and the next step is just a second something to away yeah. hmm. next step is after the child is able to read the cvc words show the pictures of you know those words to the children like i've shown cat 
hat, bat, rat, fat. Because the child is able to read, he himself will read it. He does not need any help from your side. But you, if, if he requires help, then you can help him out. So when he is doing these things, the, uh, the uh, more number of times a child keeps on saying these words, cat, bat, hat, rat, fat, the child is observing that there is a, they are all similar sounding words. They have a similar ending, okay? At, at, and they all end with at. So we've given at here, see? The same red color, at. So this is given in a different color. So the child will eventually understand that similar sounding words have similar spelling. Now, for example, cat, rat, bat, mat, hat, fat are given here. And you, you uh, suddenly come up with the word pat. Pat. The child will do the guessing work because he will understand, he would have already developed the sense that similar sounding words have similar spelling. Though pat is not here, he will think that, okay, I have to add p and at at the ending to make pat. So you're giving a, indirectly giving him a formula to um, write the spellings or to learn the spellings of different words or to be able to read different words. You're giving a shortcut formula kind of a thing. And another reason why you're introducing pictures to the child is reading without comprehension is an utter waste, right? So when the child is reading cat, the child should understand that, you know, he should imagine that there's a cat, okay? He should be able to have a cat in his mind, right? So you are adding the comprehension part to it, okay? 